and welcome to a reading of No Rhino Raids, Making Money Work for Us, How MMT Can Save America. And this book is actually in the Progressives uh, dot, uh, dot org's um, a book store online you can get for $19.95 or hardcore for $59.95. So I'm going to keep that up on the screen. Maybe you decide to uh, go buy it. I hope you do. Thank anyway, you. so, and also in case you missed it, uh, L. Ronda Ray did a RP Live, I think it was the ninth um, of the of this month. And um, basically, he went through the synopsis of this book and he took a lot of questions. Uh, there were so many questions that we actually had, they actually leave 11 unanswered. Um, I was in attendance. Uh, they had uh, quite a few people in there. I'm not going to say the attendance, but they had quite a few people. So check out and check that out once it goes on to, I believe it will be on the Over Progressive in Action uh, YouTube channel. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's see. And then A M M T is shocking conclusions. But this is also be going to my TikTok, uh, Colin Taylor six six six. As I remember, you know, uh, a MMT's shocking conclusions. MMT reaches conclusions that are shocking to many who've been taught the conventional wisdom. Most, uh, most uh, importantly, it challenges the orthodoxies about government finance and monetary policy. The so-called inflation unemployment trade-off, the wisdom of fixed exchange rates. The folly of striving for current account surpluses. If you don't know uh, about any of these things, don't worry. Indeed, that might make it easier to follow what follow what comes. For most people, the greatest challenge is MMT's claim that sovereign government's finances are nothing like those of households and firms. While we hear all the time that the statements that, in quotes, if I ran my household budget the way the federal government runs its budget, I'd go broke, followed by the claim of, in quotes, therefore, we need to get the government deficit under control, unquote. MMT argues this is a false analogy. Of course, households and firms can and do become insolvent when they issue too much debt. But a sovereign currency issuing government is nothing like a currency using household or firm. The sovereign government cannot become insolvent in its own currency. It can always make all payments as they come due in its own currency. Governments spend first in tax. That means tax revenue is not needed for spending. That does not mean taxes are un unimportant they serve other useful purposes but the national government does not need to receive its own currency before it spends indeed it cannot receive currency until after it spends another conclusion is that a sovereign uh, sovereign government does not need to borrow in quotes its own currency in order to spend Indeed, it cannot borrow money that it has not already spent. That is why MMT sees the sale of the government's bonds by the sovereign, uh, by the sovereign, as something quite different from borrowing. Bond sales are part of monetary policy and help the central bank to manage interest rates. Governments don't need to borrow their own currency, as we will explain. Governments spend their currency first, then receive it back in tax payment. We'll revisit this argument later. What is important for now is MMT's recognition that government's spending is never constrained by taxes or by, in quotes, bond market vigilantes, unquote, who might refuse to lend. To put it as simply as possible, governments today spend by keystrokes, in quotes, uh, that they cannot ever run out of. It surprises most people to hear that banks operate in a similar manner. They lend their own deposits into existence and accept them in payments on loans they hold. Strange but true. A century ago, a bank would issue its own currency, or sorry, its own bank notes when it made a loan. 
the debtor would repay loans by redeeming bank notes. Obviously, banks had to create the notes before debtors could pay down debt using the bank notes. However, banks gradually got out of the business of issuing notes and instead turned to deposit, to, to deposit banking. In the U.S. today, only the Federal Reserve Bank, the government's bank, issues notes. Our green back, or sorry, our green paper currency. Private banks only use deposits. Banks now create deposits, not notes, when they make loans. Deposit or debtors repay those loans using bank deposits, and deposits of any U.S. bank can be used to pay down loans at any other U.S. bank. Almost all bank loans are rapid uh, uh, repays, repaid this way, by debiting bank uh, bank deposits. And what this means is that banks need to create the deposits first before borrower, borrowers can repay the loans. Hence, there is a symmetry. symmetry. The sovereign spends a currency or central bank reserves explained uh, explain later uh, into existence first, then taxpayers use the currency or central bank reserves to pay taxes and banks lend their deposits into existence when ban the bank's debtors use bank deposits to pay down loans. The money is always created out of thin air, in quotes. When the government spends or the banks lend, there is uh, there is no uh, theoretical limit to the government's ability to create its own money, currency and reserves, and no limit to banks' ability to create bank money deposits. You may find that shocking and may maybe even scary. This book will help or uh, will explain how money creation works and how we can use their knowledge to improve the functioning of our economy. We will argue that the true constraints we find uh, face are real resource constraints and the limits of our knowledge. If we know how to do something, if we have the real resources, labor, natural uh, resources, and productive capacity required, we can find a way to afford to do it. If we have unemployed resources, most importantly labor, we can find a way to pay that labor to work. If we have idle plant or equipment, we can find the finances to put it uh, to work uh, in, uh, put it to work too. Importantly, if we have the resources and technology required to save the planet from climate catastrophe, we can financially afford it and afford to do it. This does not mean government faces no constraints. It faces political constraints as well as real resources constraints. Even if politicians do not worry about where will the money come from, in quotes, they do care what money is spent on. That is, they have preferences regarding what the government should do. Further, policy often would lead to competition between the government and the private sector over use of resources. Even though even there are a lot of unemployed workers and machines, uh, employed, excuse me, unemployed workers and machines, it can be difficult to ensure that a new policy would not also demand resources that are already in use. In that case, the government would be able would, would be against, wait, I'm sorry, would bid against the real private use of those resources. In other words, they could be there could be a real trade-off, less private use and more public use. Since governments, since government doesn't face a financial constraint, similar to that faced by private sector and the private sector needs to make a profit that government doesn't. The government can win a, building, a bidding war. Not only does the government end up with the resources, the bidding war causes prices to rise. The result could be inflation. Still, the usual situation outside uh, major wars is that there are unemployed resources that could be mobilized for public programs, and that the government can surmount the political constraints, it can always afford to mobilize the unemployed 
resources in the public sector or the public interest rather. Money is not the problem. Ultimately, this should be uh, comforting and not scary. Understanding how money really works lets us focus on the real barriers, politics, real resources, technical know-how, and inflation. In coming years, we face a number of challenges. One might even claim we face uh, existential threats be perhaps greater than humans have had to deal with since they first came out of Africa. Survival of anything like organized human civilization may be in question, but the scientists claim that we have most of the uh, most of the know-how to tackle the challenges. MMT claims that we have the uh, financial ability we can finance what it takes to rise to the challenge. If we can clear away the misunderstanding, align the politics, and mobilize the resources, we can win. Uh, we hope that this book will motivate you to, pr pr uh, to pressure those with the power to take action to do what is necessary to make the world a safer and better place for humanity. And the next one is B, uh, the, uh, themes to be covered, but that'll be tomorrow. Uh, once again, this is the website you should go to to buy the book. Just so I highlight this. There we go. And this is by El Rendori. And I'm going to stop sharing. Hello. And this is the actual cover of the book. And this is their book clip. Yeah. I'm not a rich man, so I don't can't afford anything more fancy. And I'm seeing it. And for the moment, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, put this on to my TikTok. And if so, is it there as well? And look at the response stuff I have out there. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, go to rupertcuzzle.org for any information in regards to MMT, other books, as I showed you. And one last time. And this is where you need to go. Back here. There we go. And we also do actually have pretty decent books up here after that. This is Warren Moser's Pride and Joy. This is the book that everybody who wants to learn in macroeconomics should be reading. It should be taught in every college that offers economics or a business degree. But I don't know if it does. I know New School does, but that's pretty much it. Let's see, as we know about Depths and Myth, Job Guarantee. Let's see. I have somewhere where I have it right now. And whatever for now. Anyway, uh, let me stop sharing again. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Please become a follower on my TikTok. Uh, go to Watch him on YouTube. Uh, listen to Macaron and Cheese on Spotify as well as on Uh And stay tuned. Peace out for now.